Good morning, guys. I'm at Eli's house. Just opening the garage. Going on an adventure today to grab something potentially awesome. Oh man, so Eli's still getting ready, but check out the amazing wheels. Oh my god, I'm obsessed with these. Dude, that's just a good shot right there. Remember when we painted this car? Plasti dip. Oh man, sad Volvo. Stanley's way higher than my garage. Mm. Actually, it might be similar to my garage. Yeah, but it's not a bad space. And it's not like... It doesn't smell like we're gonna die in here. <laughs> I'm about to break this out and mow the lawn for it. <laughs> here, I think, I think it's gonna need some boost first. Ooh, so we... Door. What? A little before, we got the garage door working, so time to start cleaning up this bay. So check out our new racing setup. Literally. Found a racing seat. Got ignition tube and Humble Supply Co. stopping by. My ass hang out. It's okay, I'll censor it. Okay. <laughs> I really want to see the <laughs> big blur mark on <laughs> Alright, so it's been a couple hours. Look at all that trash. But, check this out. So the garage is now much more open. Swept the entire floor. The bulk of the trash has already been removed and put outside. That's slowly gonna be put into a dumpster, hopefully. Okay, it is day two for my cleanup at my Bill Recca house. I'm gonna go top down, go visit Eli for a second, and then we're gonna head over there. So we're at the garage. What are Eli, what are you doing? I don't know. That's a good question. I ask myself that every day. <laughs> Interesting way of cutting vinyl. <laughs> well, I don't have a table to cut it on. You know we have like blocks of wood over there that we can just like... Lay it down on? Yeah. <laughs> Listen, I'm almost done. We're just chilling at the moment because we don't know exactly when it's going to show up, but when it shows up, it's going to be mad cool. Cleared out that back space there, so I'll probably be moving all this stuff this way because I'd want to utilize that pegboard for some tools. Delay on the car getting here, so we're at Chris's house instead. Eli says hi. Chris has got some fresh new wheels. Ah! Eli's vinyling his roof. YouTube money, dude. YouTube money. It's all about the YouTube money. That's Not really. Nice. It's all about the YouTube wow, money. So <laughs> Wait, can I get a close-up on that? Oh! What is that? What right. are those? Are you able to do it yourself? Uh, yeah, to cut it? Not really. If you don't cut it right, it'll... I don't know how to do it. any of this. Oh my god. You should do everything. Your new Tinder pick right here. Yeah. I would have no idea what I'm doing. Alright, so Eli's got to finish wrapping his roof black, so I am back at my second garage. So a few of you might have known by now, but if you guys didn't get the hinge yet, Yes, I'm getting another car, and I'm pretty excited to reveal what kind of car it is, so you guys will have to wait for just a split second. In the meantime, though, wheel's looking very, very clean. Oh, there she is. All right, so we can't really get the car off the trailer, so we're gonna try to use my car as an anchor point and hopefully use this truck to pull it off and we'll see how it goes. So, we can't get the car off the trailer because the wheels are seized. I don't know how this guy got it on the trailer, but he's a guru and a magician. But so far we got it freed by hammering on the brake drum to release the handbrakes. So hopefully that will work. Plus we got a spare wheel on that would Welcome fix the front. it off on Paulin. What's that? Pawning it off on Powin. Pawning it off on Powin. Yeah. <laughs> Alright, now time to free the other side. Got your, uh... yeah. <laughs> Think mine's dying.
That love note's way too tight. You need to pop it. Pipe's always a good time. No. Yeah. Why are you buy yourself a Dewalt? Dewalt. Dewalt's better, I guess. Dewalt. Crossman, you're letting me down. No springs, bra. F it. What? Why it's so slimy damned, I think. What's well, rolling? All right, sorry to keep skipping around, but I had to leave for work the other day, but the car is finally here. I am very excited to show you guys out in the sun what it looks like, and then point out all the potential problems that I'm gonna be running into, and so let's get it outside. So there's definitely something seized because I can only push the car forward, I can't push it back. I don't have all my tools on me, so I'm not even gonna bother trying to really work my way to get the car out. I'm mainly concerned with today of cleaning out all the trash that's in the car, as you can see. Even though I can't bring the car out, I'm still going to give a walk around. So the reason why I got this car is because Gertrude's already done. If you guys don't know what Gertrude is, Gertrude is my turbocharged E36. I'll link a video up there. But basically, I am going to try to start from scratch. I want a challenge and I want to start a build from the bottom up. And that's why I got this car. So I want to do something different. I'm going to keep track of how much money I've put into this car. And to start out, I bought this car for a grand total of $200 and it cost me an additional $100 just to tow it over here, which covers the cost of the U-Haul and gas and whatnot. So let's start it out at $300 as a grand total for this car. All right, so walking around the car, cosmetically, this body panel is pretty straight, but minor the typical stuff that's wrong with E36s, like this entire jack point right here is gonna definitely need to be re-welded. If I were to jack the car up, you guys would see that the entire panel underneath is cut out. So in another video, I'll start talking about this exact point and how to fix it and such. And then around here, the back fender definitely had some body work done before. The fiberglass is ripping off. I have no idea exactly what I want to do with the car yet, but for sure I do want to strip it down completely and start from scratch and see where it goes from there. To continue, all the glass in this car is accounted for. The hatch works. This side is also pretty straight. And then the same exact problem with the front uh, jack point is also rusted out on that side. Um, I don't really know for sure how many miles are on it, but it does have about 180 or 200 something miles on, on the clock. But let me try to open this hood for you guys. Oh, well, the hood won't stay open. I gotta find something to prop it up. So now that I got the hood up, the entire motor is still intact. Definitely gonna be just stripping everything out and see. Supposedly this car actually did run before it was parked in the junkyard. All it really needs is a starter, which failed the last time someone tried to start it up. But overall, I'm pretty happy with the condition of the car. So as you can see, the interior in here is extremely dirty, even though there's some air fresheners that purify the air quality. But the first thing I definitely have to do in this car is remove all the trash. Okay, either these are kids' jeans or really severely shrunken short shorts. Oh, help me God. It's gross. Oh my God, there's so much trash over there too. Build some. No. All right, last trash pile. Cigars, energy drinks, McDonald's, scratch tickets, lighters, towels, and heat. All right, looking much better. 
All right guys, so I cleaned out the entire car already. It's looking nice and clean or cleaner than it was before. I got a full trash bag full of trash from the car itself and I'm pretty excited to start the teardown process. I'm gonna save that for the next video because I wanna start an entire series on it. But I hope you guys enjoyed this quick update on the car and what I'm doing in my life and I'll catch you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.